September 11th, 2001. With smoke everywhere and people are jumping out the windows. An attack on our democracy. And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Remembering the lives lost and the families left behind. Christine A. Irvine Ryan. And my brother, firefighter Thomas J. Foley. Tommy boy, you will live in our hearts forever. A day that changed American history forever. We will never forget. We're giving a live look here at the World Trade Center in, in New York City there, the reflection pools. Uh, today is the 18th anniversary of the single deadliest terrorist attack in history. 19 men hijacked U.S. airplanes headed for the West Coast. We lost nearly 3,000 people in New York City, Washington, D.C., and Shanksville, Pennsylvania. The attack was orchestrated by Al-Qaeda leader, Al leader, there it is, Osama bin Laden. I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. I remember that day. There was a big announcement. Nobody really knew what it was, and then the president came out there. When President Obama announced to the nation that Osama bin Laden was killed in the U.S., uh, special forces raid there nearly 10 years later after 9-11. Bin Laden was killed on his compound in Pakistan. And now new steps to help the U.S. fight terror groups and people who finance them. That's right. President Donald Trump signed an executive order Tuesday that allows the U.S. to target terrorists without having to tie them to a specific act, terror, or crime. It will help us to ensure that the deadly attacks of September 11th that occurred 18 years ago this week are never repeated on American soil. The yeah. Treasury and State Departments announced the designation of more than two dozen terror groups, terror leaders, and their affiliates. Back in July, President Trump also signed an act into law that extends the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund. It was set to expire next year. That new law, championed by comedian Jon Stewart, ensures the compensation for victims through 2090. People across the nation remembering the victims of 9-11 and where they were when it happened. And so we're looking at some of the posts on Twitter and Facebook under the hashtag never forget. So you have George here saying that day that changed my life. I was in college. Next day I dropped out, joined the United States Army. I have not forgotten. The rest is history. Kenny says I was at work around the corner from Kings Bay Base in St. Mary's, Georgia. When it happened, I remember the military going nuts. And we'll have this one here. Never forget, where were you that day? I was in third grade. We watched it unfold on the TV in the class, and everyone was silent. I, too, remember, didn't see the first plane, but we watched it live in school, and we couldn't believe what had happened that day. You can let us know where you were when you first learned about the devastating act of violence. I know you remember. Just go to the Action News Jacks Facebook page. And, you know, there are a lot of local events today to remember 9-11. Naval Station Mayport, they're holding a flag-raising ceremony on base at 8 a.m. to honor victims. St. Augustine will hold its annual ceremony of remembrance in the main fire station. That's at 8.30. And Beaches Chapel School in Neptune Beach will host a Patriot Day breakfast for first responders and military members. You can get those times and events. If you want to stop by there maybe before work this morning, just go to actionnewsjacks.com or the mobile app.